Okay, so, uh, I know it's late, but as I've said before, I have a life outside of YouTube, so I've been gone visiting, you know, relatives, so I'm back, and during my time away, uh, some news came out that made me go, huh, I should talk about this, and it's news that actually, like, it makes no sense when at first you think about it, but then the more you give thought to it, the more you're like, actually, this makes a lot of sense, and I am all for it, <laughs> and that thing that makes no sense is a crossover that has been announced for Disney+. Plus. What is this crossover, you may ask? None other than the Muppets and the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, as in that Haunted Mansion. Honestly, this is perfect. Like, this is, when you think of, like, crossovers you wouldn't think would work, but then the second you give more thought to it, it's like, this is actually pretty, uh, this is pretty perfect. Um, having the Muppets in the Haunted Mansion is just perfect. Like, it makes so much sense because on one hand, you have the Muppets who have been, like, literally to outer space and had creepy stuff before, like creepy monster designs in their shows. And then you have the Haunted Mansion, which is creepy, but also fun. Like, it's never like, like a big uber horror show. So it's like a nice little mesh of the two. It's a beautiful mesh of the two genres put together, and I really like that. I really enjoy the idea of having these two properties together, and it's both under Disney, so. It's also nice to have something Haunted Mansion-wise out there. Like, it's really nice to have something Haunted Mansion of anything, really. Um, it's, it's a really cool thing to have something Haunted Mansion-centric in Disney Plus or Disney anything, and... You may be thinking, oh, it's just going to be as bad as the mo as the live-action movie. To which I say, the bar is way too low to mess with that. Like, the bar is set... The bar is low enough, and also, it's the Muppets, so you already know it's going to be a comic... Com like, go if you go into this thinking it's a straight-up horror with the Muppets... Kind sir or madam, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but... Yeah, so the story is that the, what we know is that Gonzo has wandered into the Haunted Mansion and the rest of the gang go out and go in there to get him. Yeah, I'm in. That's, that's a good enough story. Of course it would be Gonzo that would go into literally the Haunted Mansion. Also, apparently this is not going to be a movie. This is going to be a TV series starting in October because, of course. So the fact that it's like a mini-series is really cool. And I really like that... We're getting stuff outside of, like, and don't get me wrong, I love the Marvel and Star Wars stuff, but it's nice to see out stuff outside of Marvel and Star Wars shine, especially when it's anything Muppet. I really like the Muppets, if you haven't guessed already, and I don't get to talk about them, so the fact that we're talking about the Muppets with Haunted Mansion, it gave me the perfect uh, reason to go, yeah, I want to talk about it, because, yeah, I'm a low-key Muppets fan, so, <laughs> so, I, so I thought this would be kind of fun of having these two meet. And they've said that they are going to have um, characters from the ro from the uh, Haunted Mansion ride show up here. So there is going to, there is going to be characters. We are going to see the Hatbox Ghost. We are going to see the Hitchhikers. We're going to see Pitwick from uh, he's the Chandelier Ghost in the dance hall scene. Um, we're going to see the Ballroom Ghost. We are going to see. We're even going to get the Ghost Host. Although I imagine, sadly, you know, since the original Ghost Host is long, Paul Freeze has long been no longer with us, um, they're either going to A, use the recordings from Paul Freeze's uh, voice from the ride, or they're just going to have Corey Burton uh, voice him. And why, you're probably sa why am I saying Corey Burton? Because he voices the Ghost Host during, like, special events, as well as the fill-in voice for the... Uh, seasonal uh, time for Haunted Mansion when it crosses over with Nightmare Before Christmas. So it's probably going to be Corey Burton doing the... It, it, or they'll probably the guest host. Who who the hell knows? But yeah, I really want to... Like, this sounds all, the, all kinds of fun to me. Like, could you imagine, like, what the Muppets could get into in the Haunted Mansion? Like, the stretching room or the attic? I really want to see Miss Piggy meet the Ghost Bride. Like, that would just be perfect of, it, of Miss Piggy, like, protecting Kermit from the Ghost Bride. That'd be great. Or Fozzie trying to entertain the ghosts. Uh, or Gonzo, you know, doing Daredevil stunts and trying to be the 1,000th guest at the, at the mansion. Because you know he would try to do that. 
And I really hope we get some of the monster, uh, the monster puppets as well, like Creepy. Creepy would be really cool in here. Um, Sweetums, I'd love to see Sweetums here too. Um, but I'm just all kinds of, like, I don't get to talk about Muppets and the fact that it's crossing over as a show in the haunted with the haunted mansion my favorite ride and one of my favorite things in disney just disney period was great and i really wanted to talk about this asap um so i'm just all excited i can't wait for it this sounds really cool uh uh so yeah oh, man i don't know what else to say other than this I, I'm just hyped. Like, there's so much you could, you could do with this, and I'm already like my mind's going a hundred miles a minute thinking about what you what they could probably pull off. It's just gonna be fun. So, you guys, tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of this Muppets Haunted Mansion crossover series? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? And yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll get. Uh, I know they did Muppet Treasure Island, but maybe we'll get Muppet Pirates of the Caribbean or or Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. That'd be a cool one too. Um. Anyway, so once again, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.